What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how the Bitcoin price has continued to plummet. Unfortunately, we could be seeing a Bitcoin price all the way down here to my exact price target. And you can find that out in today's video if you continue watching. However, I do have some good news in today's video. Yes, the Bitcoin price has been going down. Yes, all the altcoins are completely getting annihilated. However, there is a good news on the horizon. In the past, we have only come to the lower level of the stock to flow model a few times. And usually when we approach the lower boundary of it, we do in fact see a dramatic bounce. I'm going to be talking about that and how the potential end of this Bitcoin short bear phase will be over soon. We'll also be taking a look at the Ethereum price as well and how that dumped down below this ascending triangle. We're going to be taking a look at some information about trades as well. So overall, sit back, relax and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me once again. If you haven't already dropped a like on today's video, then definitely do so. Also, if you're new to the channel, a huge, massive welcome. Second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe, and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified when I post my next video. And also drop a comment down below to enter to win a free Ledger Nano S storage device. So let's jump to the charts and see exactly what is going on with the Bitcoin price. So we can see right here, we actually have continued dumping overnight. We went all the way down to around about $31,100 uh, on Unfortunately, however, the price since then has recovered a little bit to around $32,600. But overall, as we zoom out on the weekly chart, we can see most likely, guys, with a Fibonacci, we are going to be going down to around this $27,000 level. Unless something crazy happens, unless we see a lot of bullish action, most likely we are going to fall further. And if we do, in fact, fall to my exact price target right here of around $27,400, we'd see a further 16% um, continuation to the downside. However, it's not all doom and gloom. If if we do in fact see the Bitcoin price go into this golden pocket, this is simply because usually the price is attracted to this area, but once it reaches this area, usually it has some form of a reversal. So we could potentially see the price come down here and then have another reversal up like this to continue to the upside. It's definitely not all doom and gloom on Bitcoin. I am still very bullish on Bitcoin, even though it looks like this could potentially be some form of a top. Yes, it could be the top for the for the, the bull cycle in 2021. Of course it could be. However, I am still bullish and I do think there's been so much FUD in the market recently that really... Uh, it doesn't it just doesn't seem warranted this price action towards the downside and i think we are going to be seeing some more action towards the upside in the coming weeks if we take a look at this from uh, from plan b over on twitter a few months ago people said that the stock to flow model was invalidated broken because all models are broken to the upside now people think the stock to flow model is invalidated broken and bitcoin is dead because some elon banning hacking fud um, in my opinion it's normal deviation like 2019 or the bottom of COVID 2020 we can see right here when we had the bottom here right here back in um, 2019 and again we had the bottom right here sorry 2018 and again we had the COVID bottom in around 2020 as well Bitcoin price was down here at, at around three thousand dollars or so from the bottom level of this stock to flow model we saw a huge bounce for the Bitcoin price and we continue to break new all-time highs if you look back in the past always when we come to the lower level of this limit we bounce we can see right here right here right here we bounce right here we bounce we even came outside of the lower level limit right here and we've still bounced so right now it's definitely we are still definitely on track for this 100 100k price target right here by 2022 i am definitely still bullish on bitcoin guys we could potentially have it be having another bounce any week now i do think that the bitcoin price could come down to the 20,000 range could be 28,000 could be 29,000 um we are so close there already i think most likely uh, the market is going to get drawn down there however if we know this we can make profit trading it guys over on phoenix right now i'm having a trading competition and you can actually go ahead and join Join my team all you have to do is scroll down on today's video and simply go ahead and join my phoenix trading team right here and we have the chance to win up to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a prize pool bonus and this is really really cool not only that but for the for the time that the trading competition is on for everyone who joins my trading team i will actually be giving you one month free access to my crypto jack trade calls um so yeah it's a really great opportunity all you have to do is click the link down below and join uh, make yourself an account on phoenix if you've already got an account simply join right here and I'll be able to see all the emails of people who has in fact joined my team and then I'll automatically add you over to my free trade calls for one month. So this is a really great opportunity to not only trade and be part of a huge competition to go ahead and make a potential prize pool of up to $750,000 but also you get something free as well and we can all trade and, um, and talk to each other about it as well. It's going to be very very cool. 
My trade over on Femex is still currently open with around $64,000 in profit. Yes, previously at the Bitcoin high, this was at around $180,000 profit. I have not taken any profits or I have taken around $12,000 profit from it. However, I'm really wanting to ride this up all the way to about 100K and I definitely do believe we will get there. Let's take a look at the Ethereum price now. And again, Ethereum had a dump from this um, Sending, sending a triangle right here to the downside. And we are seeing a little bit of sideways action. We came down all the way to $2,300, which is a, a level of support compared to right there. And we could potentially be going even lower. If we take a look at the Ethereum price target from this breakdown, we can see that the price target is actually quite low. Uh, we can take right here from the point of breakout. We can see the price target is around $1,670. So we could see the Ethereum price go there in the next few weeks if this price target is correct. From the current price, this would be a reduction of around about 31%. So this is really a huge reduction in price, guys. And you could potentially make a lot of profit shorting this for if you are using the right techniques and the right strategies. Just keep an eye on this level of support right here at around $2,300. If this breaks, we could see another dip towards the downside. But that's pretty much for it for Ethereum and for the Bitcoin price, guys. Again, if we take a look at the hourly chart quickly before we end the video, we can see that um, most likely the Bitcoin price will continue to fall further from breaking out from this wedge. It does look like we formed a little bit of support right here, but it's really um, nothing too crazy. If we pull up the four hour chart and take a look at this, um, we can see it's really it's really nothing too crazy. There's nothing really too supported from here. If we go back even further again, there's not really too much support in this range we can see right here. We have this level of trading acti activity right here, but most likely there is gonna be a lot of volume coming in this golden pocket right here right there because many many traders know but from this golden pocket it's usually a pivotal a pivotal point for the bitcoin price or any asset price in general so thanks for watching today's video guys and i'll catch you in the next one